the University of Idaho campus in Moscow, there's a lot of buzz about these little devices cruising around campus. I was also a little confused. Like, um, I wasn't really sure what they were. I had never seen anything like this ever before. It's pretty neat. You know, this is the first campus in Idaho to have uh, food delivery robots. Definitely something that I was surprised to see, but it was really cool, honestly, especially when I found out what they actually did. I didn't know they delivered food until I saw a big old sticker that said, hey, I deliver food. So we launched on campuses in 2018, and uh, now we've, this is uh, about the 25th campus in the United States. We also operate in five countries. The autonomous delivery robots are a product of Starship Technologies, a company started in 2014 by the founders of Skype. It's headquartered in San Francisco, with engineering operations based in Estonia. To use it, you download the Starship app onto your smartphone, and then you can order from one of the restaurants on campus. When you place your order, prior to that, you just tell it where you want it to meet you, so that it's gonna be outside in front of your dorm room or in front of your house uh, if you're here on in campus housing. Once I downloaded the app, it was super easy to navigate. Um, you just pick a location where you want the robot to go. It has a real-time tracker, so you can track it. Um, and then you come outside and pick up your food. It's super easy to use. I ordered a bagel and a coffee, yeah. I had 15 minutes in between my classes, so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to try it, test it out, and it worked perfectly. Do you really need the bagel, or you just want to see how it works? I honestly just kind of want to test it out. <laughs> Whether you're in the admin building and you don't have time to run down here to grab food, it allows you to skip the line, order ahead, and have it delivered right to you. It costs the price of the meal, plus a $1.99 delivery fee, which is very reasonable compared to other delivery fees out there. And it integrates into our meal plan. So all students on a meal plan, if they have dining dollars, um, their dining dollars cover everything, including the cost of the meal and including that $1.99 delivery fee. So it's amazing. It's a great value add for students on a meal plan and faculty and staff members on a meal plan. It gives them that extra convenience. And if you're not on a meal plan, you can just use a regular credit card. The robot cruises along at about four miles per hour and can hold about 20 pounds in its delivery compartment, which is cleaned before and after each delivery. It has a, you know, a full suite of accessories, so you can put a pizza box in there if you have to. And then you can use up to six, have up to six drinks in there, and you can still fit a whole, whole bunch of stuff in there. At the front, there's you know, a whole bunch of cameras and other sensors. There's on-site stuff that keeps it from running into nearby obstacles, but then um, it's running on a, a, a map that it gets from a AI. So it gets actually plotted by a computer um, that when an order comes in, like say you place your order, the AI makes a path for it and that's optimized per trip. So it just starts working on better paths and better times to get to you. So it speeds up over time because it's learning about that. It can even cross streets waiting for cars to pass first. We've done about, let's see, 140,000 robot crossings a day worldwide. You're notified when it's about to arrive, so you can go outside to meet it. The lid is locked during transport, and can only be opened using the app. And then you just bring your phone out, and it says, I'm next to the robot, and you say, yes I am. And then uh, it asks you if you want to unlock the lid, and say, I, yes I do. Here's your delivery. Cute, cool. Tell it to go away. You tell it to go away. There's a thing you slide. It says send a robot away. Basically, you just say I'm done with the robot. You swipe and it goes away. And it just starts on its next job, usually waiting for another order. And it goes right on to the next order. The robots have built in speakers so they can communicate with humans they meet. It can be programmed with custom greetings and even play music. If it encounters any problems, a human operator can take it over by remote control. They're currently running 15 or 20 of them at a time on the campus. Not only is our current student population super stoked about it, but the incoming students are learning about it, and they can't believe they get to go to a university that has robots delivering your food. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Paul Belkey.